Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. And uh, first of all, I think we're you know, dealing with some very delicate issues. And uh, from the people that's uh, spoken on some of these issues, uh, I know that good people can disagree on, on some of these issues. But uh, this is an this is one issue that uh, that uh, many of us feel very strongly about. And uh, I know it has been said that, um, and it's my understanding that uh, if some it's been uh, made the case that if someone is stationed uh, in a state that severely restricts abortions uh, and they're left to care the dead fetus after mis miscarriage, um, then uh, that then they're left to do that until the baby is 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 born is born even though it's born not alive. Um, it is my understanding that uh, no state has barred uh, miscarriage care. Um, second, the Department of Defense covers miscarriage care, and this policy does not mention miscarriage. Abortion is actually an intentional ending of the life of an unborn child. So in miscarriage, the unborn child has already passed away. So I just wanted to clarify that this is not an issue 